All right, so we're going to estimate the area under this curve here, f of x equals 1 plus x squared from x equal negative 1 to x equal 2, and we're, we're going to use midpoints. Yes, I see I left the t off here, midpoints. All right, so to do this, we need to make a sketch of the function. So let's graph it real quick. Right. So it's going to look something like that, 1 plus x squared. And, you know, I mean, I know I'm using the easy function here. You get one that's more complicated, that you don't know how to sketch like this. Well, you, you may have to go back and use what you learned, uh, relative max min, where the function is increasing, decreasing, concavity, all that stuff. Okay, so that's what you would have to do to get a, you know, a, a good graph of it. All right, so... We're looking to go from negative 1 to 2. All right, so this is the area we're looking for. <clears throat> and they want us to break it up into three rectangles. You could break it up into more. I'm just doing three for the video. Uh, and the more rectangles you use, the more accurate <clears throat> the area will be. So what we need to do is we need to determine well we're going to have three rectangles what's going to be the width of each one I know it's easy to see that the width is one <clears throat> but let's look and see how we find it so we're going to call delta x as the width of each rectangle <clears throat> so it's the the larger value minus the smaller value so that's going to be two minus negative one and we're going to divide it by the number of rectangles we want and so that's 3 over 3, which is 1. So the width of each rectangle is 1. So we're going to have a rectangle here, here. So here's your three rectangles. Now, <clears throat> you can use left endpoints, right endpoints. I've got videos on that working this problem. You can go check those out. <clears throat> but in this one, we're going to do midpoints. So what I want to do is I want to go to the midpoint of each interval. So here's here's the midpoint about right there, okay? And so my rectangle is going to be like this, okay? And then the next interval from 0 to 1, I'm going to go to the midpoint. And there's my rectangle. And then I'll go to the midpoint of the next one. And there's my rectangle. Okay, so I know the width of each rectangle is one. Okay, that's the width of each rectangle. But what I need now is I need the height of each rectangle. So I need the distance from here to here. Well, this is a point. There's an x coordinate, and I need the y coordinate. So how do we get the y-coordinate? Well, we plug the x-coordinate into the function, and that gives us the y-coordinate, which will give us the height, because we know the area of a rectangle, width times height, or length times width, okay, whatever you want to call it. All right, so right now, let's, so we can see these things better, let's just go ahead and kind of highlight these rectangles in, so we can kind of see them better all right so <clears throat> the first thing I need is I need I need the midpoint I need the x value that's going to give me the midpoint for each interval so I need this x value here's a midpoint Can you see that and here's a midpoint I need this x value and here's a midpoint so I'm going to need this x value. Well, halfway between negative one half and zero is negative one half. Halfway between zero and one is one half. And then halfway between one and two would be what? Three halves. Remember how to get the midpoint between two points? You, two numbers, you add them together and divide by two. And so that would give us the three halves. And same thing 
over here. All right. So I know the width of each rectangle is 1, but now I need to find the heights. And to find the heights, we're going to plug the x values into the function. Okay, plug it into the function, and then that's going to give us this the y value, which is also the height of the rectangle. So to find the height of the first rectangle, I'm going to evaluate the function at negative 1 half. And that's going to be 1 plus negative 1 half squared, which is 1 plus 1 fourth, which that's going to give us 5 fourths. <clears throat> All right. And then we need the height of the next rectangle. Well, the x value to get this height here is 1 half. So f of 1, one half is equal to 1 plus 1 half squared and it's going to be the same as this one and that's going to give me 5 fourths and then I need the height of the last rectangle well if I plug this x value in that's going to give me this y value which is giving me the height of the rectangle so f of 3 halves is 1 plus 3 halves squared which is 1 plus 9 fourths which that is going to be what 13 over 4 <clears throat> alright so now we're ready to find the area so the area under the curve <clears throat> well I gotta find the area of each rectangle so it's the width of the rectangle which is 1 times the height so the height of this one is 5 fourths <clears throat> plus the area of this one well the width is 1 times the height which is 5 fourths <clears throat> plus the width of the last rectangle which is 1 times the height which is 13 over 4 so this is just going to be what 5 fourths plus 5 fourths plus 13 fourths and that is going to give us what 23 over 4 would be the area so let's see, 23 divided by 4, that is equal to 5.75. Or I guess you could leave it like that if you wanted. But that would be the area using midpoints. So I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.